Want a quick way to dye your hat? Just pop these balloons. Your hair might get a surprise color change too. I'm heading out. I'll be there soon. I just need to put on my jean jacket. Oh no! There's a giant moth in my closet. I won't give up. Let go, moth. You are so rude. The moth ate the best part of my jacket. But I know how to bring my jacket back to life. Cut out parts of the back and front of a jean jacket. Rub the cut edges with sandpaper. Sew embroidered tulle into the holes. Decorate the pockets too. Now my jean jacket is even prettier. Fight me, moth! You lost this battle! June keeps a log of her fight against the moth. She made a cover for her notebook out of her fearsome enemy's favorite denim fabric. Fold a piece of denim fabric in half. Cut out a hole in the middle. Use nail scissors to make fringe along the edges. Put a notebook inside. Place a printed label in the hole. Glue the cover to the notebook and make more fringe along the edges. She writes down everything the moth has destroyed in this notebook. It's already half the closet. Time to write down data on its latest victim, my jean jacket. Moth, you'll pay for this. Having horrible nightmares again? A giant moth is eating all your favorite things with sauce. And it's forcing you to eat another tasty bite of denim too. These nightmares have to stop. I need a dream catcher. Lay out colorful beads in a circle. Bake them for 20 minutes at 265 degrees. Make a few circles out of different beads. Connect the circles with ribbons. Make a dream catcher. This pretty dream catcher will protect your brain from nightmares. Hang it up by your bed and sleep well. The moth from your nightmares flies far, far away. Ciao, moth! And all my favorite clothes are safe and whole. Thank you, dream catcher. This wall looks so naked. It's like it's asking for a painting. This job is for Mademoiselle Gouache. She's tired of classical acrylic techniques, so she'll try a new method. Marker abstract art. Draw on a canvas with a few different colors of marker. Use a pipette to drip rubbing alcohol onto it. Decorate a second canvas the same way. Spritz it with rubbing alcohol. Turn the canvas to spread the drips out. Make a third canvas using the same techniques. Her new masterpiece is ready! It looks amazing on the wall! Sweet Van Gogh! This is wonderful! A new take on visual art! May I have your autograph? Mademoiselle Gouache, you are a modern art prodigy! We have never seen anything like this before! Magnificent! Come one, come all! We have an incredibly generous one-day giveaway! Take as many cupcakes as you can carry for free!
Laura came prepared with a special bag just for cupcakes. Cut a square piece of fabric into two rectangles. Fold up the fabric on one side and hot glue it. Do the same thing with the other piece. Glue the two pieces onto a second square of fabric. Leave the middle open. Turn it right side out. Make a handle out of a different color of fabric. Make two pieces. Glue the handles into the bag. I can have as many as I can carry? Awesome! Good thing I sewed this bag. It'll hold enough cupcakes to last me a week. I'll take some more. And some more. And another couple. Awesome! All the free cupcakes fit into my purse. Thanks for the giveaway! Laura got an unexpected invitation to a birthday party. Lucky me! I bet there'll be a ton of free food. But I should bring a gift with me. What should I make? Oh, a tray! Aw, it's not in great shape. But maybe I can spruce it up. Pour Elmer's glue over a ruined tray. Use a brush to spread the glue over the whole surface. Sprinkle confetti on top. And pour a layer of epoxy glue over it. Decorate it with glitter. I did a great job of refurbishing the tray. Now it looks super stylish. A great decoration for any room. I'll put my free cupcakes on it. And I have a cheap and delicious gift for my friend. Now I just need to wrap my amazing gift. Oops, I'm out of wrapping paper. Ah, bad luck. But that's not enough to stop Laura. She'll just use toilet paper. Hmm, it doesn't look so good. Fine, we'll just use a popular life hack. Hmm, a pillow doesn't go with these cupcakes. All right, maybe I can just sign my gift with crayons. But first, I need to sharpen them. Hold on, my flat iron melted my crayons and made a pretty print. That's a great packaging idea. Great some crayons. You'll need a few different colors. Sprinkle the crayon shavings onto some paper. Cover it with parchment paper and use an iron to melt the crayon shavings. Take off the parchment paper. I made super unique wrapping paper. This gift will definitely stand out from the crowd. What a great idea! It's June's birthday party! On a special day like this, everything needs to shine. Even my collarbones! Put on some glitter with a brush. Done! Surprise! Happy birthday, gorgeous! These gifts are for you! And here's Laura's yummy present! Wow, what an unusual package. Enjoy the cupcakes, everyone. June loves all her new presents. Look at all this stuff. There's even a box of gifts from Trum Trum. Wow. This is a dream come true. And my new tray is beautiful. It's so sparkly. The line at the beauty salon is a great place to show off your personal style. Whoa, I love your leg warmers. I want some too. Where'd you get them? I made them myself. Ball up black cotton knee-high socks and wrap rubber bands around them. Put bleach onto the socks. Let them dry. Put different colors of dye onto sections of the fabric. Let it dry. Unfold the socks. had my legs waxed in a century. Oh my gosh, did you hear that scream? They must rip all your skin off along with your hair. I'm terrified. June can only imagine the torture she's about to go through just to get waxed. Oh no, 
I don't think I want to get waxed anymore. Next, it's your turn. Welcome to the pain-free waxing salon. Don't worry, it'll be quick. And I'll always have a smile on my face. Um, I mean on my mask. What on earth? Wait, I just imagined that. Cut two mask pieces out of light fabric. Sew them together. Sew a piece of lining fabric inside. Turn the mask right side out. Fold and stitch the edges. Put in an elastic band. Print out the text for your mask. Color the back of the text in with pencil. Put the paper on the mask and trace the letters to transfer them onto the fabric. Paint over the letters. Sprinkle glitter on top. This cute mask makes my esthetician look way less bloodthirsty. And the whole process wasn't even that bad. June managed to fall asleep. All done! Wow, so smooth! I'm like a dolphin! Amazing! I love it! Thank you so much! You are the best! Next! I think I'll just come back another time. Did you like our DIY life hacks? Then comment below and tell us what you'll make at home. A sweet dream catcher or a cool painting. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss useful new arts and crafts life hacks from Troom Troom.